Hello all and welcome back to Tired Format. I'm Jason and today, as the title suggests, I'll be changing the diff oil on my 2006 Range Rover Vogue SE. Um, before I start, just a few things to tick off. Firstly, thank you for all those who've subscribed. It's over 1,200 subscribers last time I checked. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'll be doing lots of videos on both this and reviewing cars and other cars I own or buy and all the other things. And also thanks for all the kind comments. Um, they've been really great to read through as well. So I, I try to reply as many as I can. So yeah, today I'll be changing the diff oil. Um, I do have a engine service kit and also a transmission service kit, a big service kit for both. So oil filters, everything and spark plugs and blah, 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 blah. But today it'll be the diff oil. Uh, I am still waiting on a couple of bits. So I thought I've got a free weekend. I, I should probably use it. Don't know if you can hear that, but it is starting to rain and it's really windy. So it's perfect weather to hang under a car and try not to spill oil on my nice driveway. Oil in question. Five litres of Westway Lubricant 7590 Long Life, 7590 Long Life Axle Slash Diff Oil. A fully synthetic 7590. Basically, it's to the Castrol SAF XO spec that you're meant to have. It does say it's not compatible with limited slip differentials. Don't know if I have one. Don't really care. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's it's, it's red and slippy. Anyway, um, next time you join me, I'll be under the car, probably swearing, probably having things blow around, getting pissed off, and uh, just generally making a complete hash of it. I hope you maybe learn something from it, or at least get to laugh at me making a complete hash. Okay, let's get at it. Right, well, I am under the car. I, th I don't know if I've mentioned this, but it did have a bit of a diff whine. And I think I see why. She's soaking, absolutely soaking. And I think it's coming out of this. Right, that's loose. That's a good or a bad sign, but at least it's not stuck in. Okay, that's very loose. <laughs> Good God, that's a lot of oil. That would be our fill plug. I'm gonna undo that first because if I can't undo that, I've already undone the drain. That'd be some bad juju shit. All right. I tried to clean it with some WD. I know the camera can't see it, but I can. I've got a bit in this and this. It's a bit sketch, but works. I've got my trusty ratchet here. I'm gonna find the uh, spot, the jeans spot. Ah, you f I will not be defeated by a cheap Chinesium sump plug socket. She's in there like swimwear. Yeah, that's uh, the amount of loose that is tells a story. I'm not here to judge. There she is. Oh, it's on it. So, what are we thinking, everyone? I think this is going to end up all over the driveway. Oh, my girlfriend's going to be very unhappy. Um, there's a lot of ways to disappoint her, but this will be one of the worst. on the drive. Wow, my hands have got a lot of oil on them, so have my socket. Lovely, lovely stuff. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's a bit of uh, some sparkles. We've definitely got some sparkles in there, haven't we? A layer of metal that's built up on it or something, or is it just sludge? What do we think? It looks more like sludge to me. Oh, no, no. Easy Lionel. So I'm just doing a bit of investigation now. It's draining. Not a leak. It's 
difficult to see on camera, but it seems to be coming up either from that seal or above. This is the fill plug. It's barely turned in and everything else is covered in gump. It wasn't, I don't know. I don't know, I just don't think that was in enough. Maybe that's been leaking, but it's probably the seal. Probably kidding myself. Anyway, onwards. Oh, there's a lot of oil on the road. A lot of oil, oil on the road. Oil, oil, oil on the road. There's probably a torque setting for this. I'm sure you're gonna let me know big time that I've done everything wrong here. But... Oh yeah, I only wish I cared. Oh my God, that is not even funny how shit that is. <laughs> I'm essentially bleeding this pump as I go along. One hour later. Right, that took, oh, I'd say about a litre, maybe a bit more. Um, and then it spilled everywhere, as you can see. Because, yeah, I might as well continue making a mess. If I just leave my car parked here, they'll never know. They'll never know. And I keep putting a torch in my mouth and I've covered it in bloody oil. But at least my tools aren't going to rust. So, you know, every clown. It's windy, rear diff. Let's see what we've got. Different sizes. Right, take two. We've got At the bottom, we have a bit of a. You see that square one? And then up to there. That's got to be the filler, hasn't it? Oh, don't, don't, don't do me dirty wind. No. Just to be a bit different today, I decided to end the video inside the house. So that's mainly because it's windy and cold out there and I was a bit fed up. So what have I done today? Well, uh, both diffs now have lovely shiny new oil. Uh, everything got bolted back up and I took it for a little test drive. Did I fix that diff wine? No. Unsurprising really, isn't it? I don't even know if it was a diff wine at all. But to be honest, it's such a, a minor inconvenience that around 40 mile an hour, it does have a bit of a wine. It, I've never really had a proper 4x4 before, so it just could be the trans just the noise of the entire drivetrain, I don't know. So coming up, uh, hopefully over the next week, I'll be getting some more reviews out. I'd like to do another video just where I'm talking to you with a camera like this. I'm sure Snoopy would as well, because you look pretty comfortable, don't you? Once again, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, watching all the videos. There's so many views on them. It's just like, I just my head's a bit blown by it all. I mean, this idiot dog. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.